Leave it. Adventure awaits indoor skiving. Uh, what? What? That's not a word. <laughs> Adventure awaits. <laughs> Indoor skydiving is no longer just a bucket list activity. It's now a sport. You can learn to fly over and over again. And it's a great way to beat the summer heat and keep the kids busy. Yeah, Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us from Flight School at iFly. Mitch, you're all zipped in. How did the parents sign their kids up? Good morning, Rachel and Paul. Hey, we got a lot of bombs out there and they got their kids. They got to do something during the summer, preferably inside because it is hot as heck out there. So why not have them learn to fly? We've got Raleigh here from iFly here in Scottsdale and you've got Summer Flight School Academy. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what that is and who it's for? Yeah, absolutely. So Summer Flight School Academy is for kids age four to 16. Uh, we run, I think we've got five weeks coming up, the last week of June. After the 4th of July, we've got the rest of July as well. Uh, kids will come in for about three hours. We'll have a dedicated flight brief uh, with each individual student. We'll work on their individual flight skills, and then we'll debrief videos, talk as a group, and learn how to get better at flying together uh, in that environment. So, uh, I mean, like, like we said, it's a good indoor activity, a good way to keep the kids busy during the summer. Uh, this is not part of the summer camp, but there's also some educational uh, uh, aspects to this about learning about aerodynamics and STEM courses for later, maybe not during the summer, right? Yeah, absolutely. So during the school year, we run STEM education classes that focus on science and math and how the wind tunnel itself works. And then there's a talk about aerodynamics and how the human body flies it at terminal velocity. Right. And so the kids are just going to have fun, though, too, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Flying is fun for all ages. Uh, it's especially fun when you're a little kid because, uh, you know, who, who doesn't want to learn how to fly when they're a little kid? All right. Well, one of these cool things that they let me do because I have this job is uh, I've got this flight certificate, which means that I am certified to go with in there. So I'm going to give this microphone to Raleigh, and I'm going to join Nathan in there. So I'm going to take all this. Yep. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Say goodbye to Mitch Carr, everybody. All right, I wonder what he had for breakfast. We're curious at this. Oh, point. we might find out if it's splattered on the walls in there. He I like how he's got a very evil Knievel look. Yes, about to pull this he looks confident. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. He's getting a little instruction uh, from his flight school instructor there. Keep Just do this up. with your arms. It's all about the form and he's up. He's in people. It's like doing a plank at the gym, but probably a little easier. Oh, he's assist. Oh, just by the back. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, thumbs up. I think he likes it. You know what this reminds me of? It's Willy Wonka when you, you drink the fizzy lifting drink and it just <laughs> takes you to the ceiling. That's like this, but in oh, real life. Oh, there he life. goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Mitch, you'll always have a golden fun. ticket in my heart. Still